So I got a great discussion to bring to you guys today because we're going to be talking about something that Steven Spielberg just recently said about modern audiences and how the fact that changing old films or remaking old films for modern audiences is not something that should be done because no film should be revised based on the lenses of what we are voluntarily or being forced to peer through currently in modern day. That is his exact quote in what he said, and we're going to bring up the article here from Bounding Into Comics. But guys, of course, before we do, consider giving this video a like so you can help push us out into the YouTube algorithm. So it says, Steven Spielberg rejects the idea of updating movies for new audiences. No film should be revised based on the lenses we now are either voluntarily or being forced to peer through. And that's a great statement. And the reason why is because, again, all the Wokies online, one of my biggest gripes with what they do on Twitter is that they go into the past and try to find something to be offended by. It is absolutely insane to go into the past, especially decades, or for some people, even a 100 years into the past, to try to find something to be offended by through the eyes of modern-day ideologues or modern-day politics, whatever the case may be, they find issues to be offended by because they're thinking of things through today's modern lenses, but not through the eyes of what it was like back then. And you can find so many examples. I'm not even going to bother bringing them up in this video because we'll be here forever. And I just want to focus on what he specifically said. But obviously, there is a bunch of examples that we can talk about regarding this exact kind of scenario. So it says, it seems that audiences are not the only ones who have grown tired of being treated like children, which is a thing. As veteran film director, Steven Spielberg has voiced his opinion a uh, staunch opposition to Hollywood's penchant for updating its past works for modern audiences. The Fableman's director shared his opinion on the increasingly common phenomena during a recent appearance at the Time 100 Summit, an event meant to celebrate the publication's centennial by hosting leaders from the global Time 100 community to spotlight solutions and encourage action towards a better world as we look ahead to the next century. Speaking at length about his approach to filmmaking, Spielberg was at one point asked by moderator and former Time Editor-in-Chief Edward Felsenhall, if there are films you would edit, look back at them, is there something you would have done differently, particularly in the light of his notorious decision to digitally replace the guns held by government agents chasing Elliot and his alien friend with walkie-talkies in the 2002 20th anniversary release of E.T., The Extraterrestrial, to which the director quirkly admitted quickly admitted that was a mistake. Well, I'm glad that Steven Spielberg was actually man enough to admit when something was a mistake, so kudos to him if he feels like um, replacing the guns with walkie-talkies was a mistake in the anniversary edition then kudos. I mean, at least he was able to admit that. Most people would be like, no, it was great. Even though they might have been forced to do so, they would still say it was great just because they're being paid to say it was great. So it says, I never should have done that, said Spielberg. E.T. is a product of its era. No film should be revised based on the lenses we are now either voluntarily or being forced to peer through. Now, that last part right there, being forced to peer through speaks a lot of volume. Now, I'm sure he changed those things in E.T. simply because he was probably forced to do so by whoever was publishing the anniversary edition. It wouldn't surprise me at all. And he's probably speaking without actually speaking. You know what I mean? Like he's trying to say something without actually coming out and full on saying it. It says, E.T. was a film that I was sensitive to the fact that the federal agents were approaching kids with firearms exposed, and I thought I would change the guns into walkie-talkies, but that was because years went by and I changed my own views, he explained. I should have never messed with the archives of my own work, and I don't recommend anyone do that. All of our movies are kind of like a signpost of where we were when we made them, what the world was like, and what the world was receiving when we got those stories out there. So I really regret having that out there. That is a fantastic... Honestly, that is a fantastic way to put it. Like, movies from back in the day are, are timepieces, in my opinion. So, like, they're made based in the time of which they were made. To try to change them for modern audiences just completely changes the history of the movie and where it came from and how people thought and how the world was when it was made. There's no reason why you should be changing things for modern audiences. That's the exact reason why that movie or TV show or whatever is not a modern movie or TV show. It's meant to be in the past where it belongs. It was made with a certain mindset and that should be respected and kept. But unfortunately, due to partially creative bankruptcy as well as obviously trying to um, showcase a bunch of identity politics and rewrite history because that's really what it is it's creative bankruptcy and it's also the attempt to rewrite history so they're really trying to do both of those things with all of these modern reimaginings that's why we're getting a bunch of shit that nobody even asked for like who the hell asked for a twilight tv show like it's just something that shouldn't even exist but unfortunately it's going to 
It says, informed by Fel Felsenthal that censors were taking certain language out of Road Dolls, Charlie, and the Chocolate Factory, Spielberg was then pressed on whether he thought all art should avoid trying to retroactively apply today's standards to yesterday's work, prompting the Ready Player One helmsman to exclaim nobody should ever attempt to take the chocolate out of, out of Willy Wonka ever, or the vanilla, or any other flavor out of anything that has been written. It is absolutely for me. It is sacrosanct. He opined, it is our history, our culture, and our cultural heritage. That is fucking true, my friend. That is absolutely true, and there's no way else to put it. This man just spoke literal truth, and I wish there was other people in Hollywood that thinks like him, because again, if that was the case, we would probably be in a much better position entertainment-wise, but unfortunately, we're not. We have to sift through all the garbage, because there's too many people out there worried about offending someone else, worried about politics worried about anything other than making a good movie or a TV show. And that's the biggest issue. They're too busy trying to say, oh, we got the first black this. Oh, we got the first gay that. They're too busy trying to say that versus saying, we can't wait to show you what we have created. You know, I don't even remember the last time someone said that. They're too busy trying to make it about identity politics than actually talking about their show. If you look at most of the advertisements for a TV show or a movie, almost all of it has to do with the identity politics within the show instead of the actual show or movie itself. The best example I can give you of this is Witcher Blood Origin. Do you guys remember that Twitter video that they put out? Top 10 reasons why you should watch uh, Witcher Blood origin and every single fucking one of them with the exception i think maybe of one was about identity politics it is so insane and this is the reason why we are where we're at right now it says warts and all interjected felsenthal yeah agreed spielberg i do not believe in censorship that way Notably, this is not the first time Spielberg has expressed regret at his now infamous E.T. edits, which have also been absent from all subsequent releases of the film beginning with the 2012 anniversary Blu-ray. Per recaps of 2011 screening of Raiders of the Lost Ark provided by AV Club and Slash Film, the director told attending audiences that looking back on his decision, I was disappointed in myself. I was overly sensitive to some of the criticism E.T. got from parent groups when it was first released in 82, having to do with Elliot saying penis breath or the gun and I thought if I changed some things, he continued, it was okay for a while, but I realized what I had done was I had robbed people who loved E.T. of their memories of E.T. And that's exactly what happens. That is exactly what happens in all different movies and TV shows that get remade. You feel like you lose the magic. You feel like you lose what you loved about the original in the first place. And this is why a lot of TV shows and movies from the past should not be touched, should not be remade, and they should just simply be left alone. Modern audiences are always going to change their ideology, right? So if you remake a TV show and you remake a movie from modern audiences right now, what's going to happen in 20 years when people have a completely different mindset? Because you fucking know it's going to happen. And whatever is considered acceptable today will not be acceptable 20 years from now. So what are you going to do? Remake it again for modern audiences? You're going to be remaking it nonstop. You're never going to get anything new that's worth a damn because they're too busy trying to rewrite history and trying to play catch up to everybody's fucking feelings that it's impossible to make anything good so again we need to go back to focusing on the actual story the actual art of filmmaking or tv show, show making whatever you want to call it entertainment we need to get back to that and stop with this identity politics bullshit because every time you try to avoid offending someone you're always going to offend two times the amount of people that you try to avoid offending in the first place so get back to making some good freaking tv shows and movies so we can talk about it so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out <laughs>